there seems to be a video game for everyone. On average, teens spend an hour a day playing them. If you have a teen or even a preteen in your home, you probably worry that they are spending too much time playing these games. It's not all bad, though. According to a St. Edwards University study, playing video games for two hours a day, it actually improves relationships and increases social experiences. RJ Marquez has details on what other ways that video games can have a positive impact. I also like creative games such as Roblox or Minecraft. 17-year-old David Correa is an avid gamer, spending three to four hours a day connected to his screen. It helps with, like, de-stressing. New science shows video games can actually help young people with problem solving. According to the American Psychological Association, people who play shooter games like Call of Duty improve their capacity to think about objects in three dimensions, just as well as school classes that are designed to enhance the same skill. The more teens reported playing strategic video games, such as role-playing games, the more they improve in problem solving and school grades the following year. Children's creativity was also enhanced. It triggers something in your head that just makes you feel more reactive and more snappy. Another stereotype the research challenges is the socially isolated gamer. I meet a lot of friends usually. More than 70% of gamers play with a friend. I met my girlfriend playing a, a game called Valorant. We started talking and now we've been dating for like over a year and a half now. The research also showed that video games are an effective tool for learning resilience in the face of failure. By learning to cope with ongoing failures in games, experts say children build emotional resilience they can rely upon in their everyday lives. RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News.